Murray. You know, practice for this tournament was honestly not not really what I was expecting. I was expecting it to be not very hard and be easy just to go get bites, just to go, you know, down a stretch of bank with some docks, or, you know, fish a couple bed fish, catch a couple. Um, it's not really like that. It's not. I don't know what the deal is, or if it, maybe it's just the area of the lake I'm fishing. But for the most part, like it's just hard to catch, you know, a quality fish every couple hours for me, anyways. Um, well, that could change. I mean, I'm gonna run a herring deal in the morning, and hopefully that I might run it all day, depending on what happens this morning. But um, yeah, I mean, that's the way I believe I'm gonna get the bigger bites in this tournament. Is the herring spawn out here, which has been very on and off. So. I do have some bedfish found, which I'll probably fish for later, which you guys will see me fishing for bedfish, which might be very trying and interesting. But for the most part, I mean, between the herring and the bedfish and then just fishing around, I mean, there's not really a whole lot else you can do on this lake right now. Um, it's just fishing that way. So looking forward to the day and the goal is, I guess, 20 pounds. I mean, I've seen a lot of big ones sewing around, so I'm going to say 20 pounds and see what happens.
don't know if you're looking to see in the trailer. Look at that thing. I don't know. <laughs> what in the hell? Is that a three pounder? That's a three. Yeah. Yeah, that's a three pounder. That is the craziest looking fish. Yeah, see, I didn't know. I think the nail's bigger than I think. Might be another three. No. Maybe I'm just seeing it. Yeah. We'll go ahead and catch him. We'll find out. Yeah. Hopefully. I ain't here. Pretty oh, yeah. deep. One cast on his ass. Two and a quarter. Yeah. All right. Well, we got a limit. got three decent fish little update we got three decent fish you know two and a halves three pounder and then we got two that need to go bye bye Right in the top. That's a three. Three, yeah. Maybe three and a quarter or so. No, no, no. Which one do you think's bigger? I believe that first one you got was probably small.
Golly. That's gotta be a four pounder there, man. Gosh. Oh, there's a nice woman in here to catch him. You put him in the box. Yeah. <laughs> I don't, it's the same size as that other one. They're all the freaking same. Let's bring out our reigning rookie of the year from Wisconsin, Jay Shakura. Five fish here today. 17 pounds, 15 ounces, puts you in 19th place currently. 50 anglers left away in here on day number one, Marathon Fastmaster Elite at Lake Murray in beautiful South Carolina. Can't thank South Carolina enough for being our host here for the next two weeks, two back-to-back -back South Carolina events. And sitting in 19th place at the halfway point of the weigh-in, so uh, pretty good day. Yeah, I'm happy with it, especially, this is just an odd, it was a very odd practice for me, and today was obviously a lot better than practice was. Um, I was sight fishing today, so obviously, we'll see what happens tomorrow, but hopefully I can stumble into a few more of those big ones. And hi to every watching, everybody watching back home, back in Wisconsin, hopefully it's warming up here pretty soon. dialed there like it was fresh it was clean like really? yeah i walked in i'm like holy shit it was one black lady working on the whole thing and she's like what, what would you like and i was like i probably should put that in there but huh you everything. yeah everything and it was like good like hot fresh did, did you get a frisco or what'd you no, get I got what tenders what? they're oh, good from there well, yeah they are but, like, <laughs> Chicken tenders and fries. Ranch. <laughs> I've been on the ground with turkey. Yeah, we've been eating healthy this year, so. That was yeah, my Yeah, it sounds like it. That was my support. Oh, the fast life, the fast living. Fast living. They see the ambition, they know I'm past driven. <laughs> Look, we are not the same, this is not a game. Not a game. I've been swerving through the city in and out of lanes. Yeah, cause if I see it, then I want it, then you better know I got it. Ain't no watches, I'm about to do the
big. Thought it was a three. Probably only like a two and a half. better. Weigh that one in at least.
There we go, now we're talking. like a first caster get set up on them mm. there we go that's a three something elite series champion chase to curat at 17 pounds 15 ounces yesterday so he was inside the cut yesterday just Today, five fish to back that 17, 15, 16, four. Gives him 34 pounds and three ounces. Puts him in 14th place, so a little tougher day today. And let's hope it doesn't cost him a semifinal Saturday appearance. We won't know till the end of our way. 34-3, I mean, you shouldn't have to really worry about making the cut, but uh, on Lake Murray, you know nothing's guaranteed. Yeah, that's kind of what I was thinking all day. I'm like sitting on 16 pounds. I was thinking 34. Hopefully I can just slide in the cut and then do whatever tomorrow when the, the weather gets different and, and just change up what I'm doing because I think it's dying a little bit after yesterday and now today. But uh, if I do make it, I'm excited to get out there and see what happens with the changing weather. And then hi, everybody back in Wisconsin again. I'm sure you guys are watching. Didn't put the fish in on the bass track today because I wanted to keep you guessing, but we had a decent bag, so it's okay. Great to have you here as always. We'll keep our fingers crossed to find out at the end of this way. Day three. Talk about an absolute nail biter last night watching the leaderboard. Scrolling through and I was like doing the math in my head. I don't know how many times I did the math, probably five, six, ten times, and I'm like this guy can't catch him, this guy can't catch him, otherwise then I'm going to get knocked down to 48th, 49th, next thing you know I'm in 50th, and yeah, and fortunately we're on the right side of 50th because the guy that took 51st had the same exact weight I did, and the t I won the tiebreaker because it's the biggest bag each day and I had the biggest bag overall in the tournament, so that was, that was kind of crazy, and uh, so today, I've been sight fishing all week and I'm kind of basically running out of fish and today is completely different conditions. So I'm probably just gonna, you know, roll with these herring fish for today and see what happens. Cause even if I don't catch them, I stay in 50th place. Um, that's what I'm gonna do, shoot for 20 plus pounds and see what happens from there. Way down 
mind never falter. Came with the hands out, get them off us. I'm 24 7 in the office. Pay attention, cause I ain't repeating off. Three pounder pulls out. 
good trade. Pulls out little number five. Next one to go is number two. Fish for 17 pounds, 11 ounces. He goes into 22nd place with 51 pounds and 14 ounces. Another good one, another good payday, and you gotta be looking forward to next week. Yeah, I'm definitely looking forward to next week. Um, you know, this week, as far as catching fish goes, the first two days, I caught them all off the bed. And then today, with the changing conditions, I just wanted to make it to today. And going back to today, I ended up in 50th place, and I won the tiebreaker. So to be here today, I'm very fortunate for that. And uh, you know, without everyone, everyone back home, all my support back home, all my sponsors, everybody that makes this possible to do this, um, making cuts is always the goal. And uh, hopefully next week at Santee we do the same thing. And 
Hi to everybody out there watching the crowd. Hopefully this way in is, uh, there's some exciting stuff backstage for you in a little bit. Always great to have you here. We look forward to seeing how this all takes out. City in here. I mean, just look at his freaking mess. See all these? <laughs> yeah. 